All right. All right, all right, all right. We are here. Sorry. But we're here. Okay. Oh, boys of Ains wearing their blues tonight. Not your familiar home whites. Okay, match, roll it, roll it. for Tiger Hills Hockey League action on TL Media. Here's your host, Travis Longman. Good evening, everyone. We're 35 seconds into game one of the Tiger Hill Hockey League Championship Series. Sorry about the technical difficulties on my end. We are here. We are ready to go. And Boys of Ain is shorthanded. David Robertson is in the sin bed for two minutes or less. I will give a brief introduction here in a few minutes once I catch my breath. But it is fantastic to be with you this evening. Boys of Ains wearing the unfamiliar home blues tonight. And good evening, everyone. It is Travis Longman, not Trevor. Has seen in the Brandon Sun today. Trevor had an article. There's no Trevor Longman. It was me. Nicely done, Brandon Sun. The one time I get in. Anyway, we love the Brandon Sun sometimes. Watch for a write-up coming up on Monday. Hopefully they get my name right this time. Intercepted, turned over, and the Minnedosa Bombers. You can do a Travis Longman drinking game every time I say Minnesota. Take a shot of water. The wrist shot, kicked aside by Pringle. That was number 57, Logan Robinson. Kept in there by number 20, Lucas B. We're going to hear a lot from Minnedosa. We're going to hear a lot from Shane Jury. He was the judge, jury, and executioner against the Gladstone Lakers in the E-Championship Series. Oh, the Clown College is up there. It appears that the Canton Juggle radio business are here. But you don't want to listen to them. TL Media is much better if I do say so myself, and I do. Go ahead, call me out. A shot, big save there by Pringle. You got to hope that it's at least a competitive series in the Tiger Hills Hockey League Championship. Unlike the majority of Order Kings games. Let's be honest here. It's so hard to sound interested calling an 18 to 1 game and nobody likes it. nobody likes a blowout not even the team that's blowing the other team out it's not good for your development zimmer loses it but at this age with all the professional players that uh one team employs you don't really uh 
care about feelings. You just want to win. And all and all Ed does is win. Every time he, his hands go up, and they say, yeah. They say, yeah. Because all Ed does is win. People, help me score! And they're well on their way to winning. One nothing, killing a penalty. These guys can do anything but something we cannot say on air. Oh, we probably could because we're unfiltered. Unfiltered, uncensored, and we put the F U in fun here on TL Media. Here, double Z. And here comes Zimmer. Leads it back. Zimmer. Takes the shot. Sam Houston. That was no problem. Kept in. No, it wasn't. Robertson gets it at center ice. If the rumors of the boys of Maine getting a new arena are true, that is fantastic. I look forward to calling many games on TL Media here. And many road games next season. He scores a one-timer. And just like that, it's two to nothing for the bad guys, depending on who you're asking, or the good guys, if you're asking Ed and the team in blue. The Clown College must absolutely be loving that. LeBlanc from Houston. Come on, guys. Let's get our viewers up. Moves it over. It's Fisher. Fisher's Rocky Mountain Tigers are not looking good in the Mike Stackhouse Hockey League. I will have an update on that championship. They are playing Theodore tonight, and Theodore has a chance to win. Theodore, named after my dad's best, one of my dad's best friends. Just kidding. Fisher has it. And through the neutral zone, it's Logan Robinson, but he loses it. The man with two last names, where Bicky Mallet was stoned by. Okay, it wasn't that challenging. Let's call a spade a spade here. Friday night, 8.15, that's what you love. 2 nothing. not even five minutes in, it's what you don't love. Boys of Ains playing hard. They're playing like a team possessed out there tonight. Well, but what's been the trend this se season? Mendoza does not quit just because they get behind a little bit. They're the comeback bombers. They're my favorite team with the last name with the team name Bombers. We won't talk about that team in Winnipeg. It would be interesting to see how the Border Kings would do faced with a, a little adversity. Is Minnedosa the team to do it, or will that have to wait until the next round against Elkhorn? We don't know when that will be, but that should be the series of the century. Brought on TL Media. CJRB calls himself the voice of a hockey, a Tiger Hills Hockey League. I'm going to disagree. They're, I'm the voice. It's me. Alan sends it down the ice. And if you want to talk to me about it, you know how to reach me. Nobody likes CJRB. Not even CJRB's parents. And it also sends it down the ice, moves it over, and they they lose it. Elms is there. Liquor. The backhand, Robinson. 
covered up. But the ref just let him play for a few more seconds uh, because what the heck. Our game sponsors tonight are the great people in Minnedosa, the driving range, the fantastic sponsorship, as well as the best beard in the nation, Nathan Longman and Longman Apiaries. Oh, we have a... It's going to be the biggest crowd of the season in Boys of Ain. I think I see five people. That's a joke before people get all defensive. Blanc moves it over, but just out of reach. Maybe too much money is lining his pocket. Back to the point, Bruyere. Bruyere takes a shot. And stopped by the Minnedosa netminder. Back over. Bruyere. And that hits a leg. Well, almost looking like Bobby Clark there, the two-handed, but well, of course, no call. Zimmer loses it, but they get it back. At center ice. Here they come. Here come the Bombers. Dittmer has it. She circles, moves it up ahead. Passes to center. Center holds it. You're watching Tiger Hills Hockey League action on TL Media, the official broadcaster of the Tiger Hills Hockey League. Travis Longman with you, not Trevor. Just in case you were confused. You're going to see all sorts of all sorts of uh, wardrobes in this arena because it is freezing cold and the people are still stuck in the 70s. Back to the point. <laughs> Elms. I'm just practicing for my heel run in the WWE. I think it would be the most fun job in the world to be a bad guy in wrestling. I really love all of you people that are watching tonight, especially CJRB. How are you doing up there? Sherling, the big moose, battling along the boards, taking on two men. If anybody would like to have words for me, I am sitting in center ice. Takes the shot, makes the save. Hopefully they're friendly words. If not, we'll see you in the parking lot. Owen, can I get an escort to my car? And here's Lisa Blas. Save. Patrick Lee went storming through the neutral zone and the howitzer of the shot was more than made up by the Minnedosa netminder, who is one of the main reasons why Minnedosa is in the championship. And these Bombers, they have absolutely no give up. You get down a little bit, that doesn't phase them. You get up a little bit, that doesn't phase them. You're tied. You know what I'm going to say. That doesn't phase them either. There's no quip in the Minnedosa Bombers. But they've also put on the distance. David against Goliath. I've got Mainline Motors and Burton Lenning Tanner. The team that scores the most goals, so not the Killarney Shamrocks. Ah, uh, Taylor, it's all in good fun, buddy. I love doing your game, too. Here they come through the middle. <laughs> Tanner, I'm still waiting for you to join and, be, and do an interview or just commentary. 
Zimmer has it coming through center. Moves it over. Loses it. Johnson. Jeremy Johnson. And they lose it. Minidos is looking like Team Canada. It looks like Canada against the United States. But if I'm going to be honest here, Tanner, if I'm a betting man, I'd say the Denver Broncos are going to win a few more games this year because of Russell Williams. I think if anyone else there wants to join my fantasy baseball league, I have an opening. I'm going to kick a manager out. Moves it up. Up ahead. Off the stick. Down the ice it goes. Numero 45 is out to play it. That is Co Cody Pollen. He was out to smell the flowers on that one. Robertson. Absolutely. The fans are the real winners, Tanner. I couldn't have said it better myself. And we love you fans. Even Xbox guy. Maybe he's making all the Border Kings on his Xbox. I, I don't know. Zimmer has it in the slot, moves it over, takes a shot. One goal, it was not. Back to the point, it's Houston. Houston did not have a problem on that one. And a boys of player goes down looking for a penalty, but to no avail. LeBlanc moves it up, Zimmer, 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 up ahead. Fisher, and Fisher, eh, uh, ref just decides, ah, oh, no. The fans, yes, we love the fans, Tanner. We're looking forward to going out next year and possibly come July. We're going to do baseball. Breaking news. Trevor Longman has some breaking news. The number 15 seed, St. Peter's Peacocks, have eliminated the Purdue Boilermakers in the NCAA basketball tournament. This is the first time ever a 15th seed has made the Elite Eight. My uncle says it was a great game, Trevor. What? Hey, Trevor's going to be my heel moniker. Travis is the nice guy. Trevor's not. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching. Travis Longman with you. And in the slot, well, in a little bit, but not enough. He still kept it. 40 viewers already. Let's see if we can get over 100. I want to see that eye that I see in the middle of the corner. You can't be in the middle of the corner. Let's get more people watching. We will be in Minnedosa on Sunday night at 6 o'clock. It promises to be a packed barn. They love their bombers there. As much as one person, as much as one place could love a team named the Bombers. That's just my Saskatchewan in me, folks. I like Minnedosa. I like Flynn Fawn and Elms in. He shoots. Big blocker save. Of course it's not in. The ref didn't even, could have saved his hand gestures. Through center, knocked off by Patrick Leask. St. Patrick Leask. Over to Sawchuck. He lets a shot go. That's just over the net. And back the other way. Coming hard are the Bombers. One fan cannot believe it. Elm sends it down the ice. Liker. Kirkland Liker. Through center. He's missing his line mate. Tyler Lewis. The Tiger Hills. But Jeremy Johnson. Double J with the shot. 
He hit the net, but the wrong net. Tanner, how are things at Chapman Motors today? I can guarantee they're not as good as at the at the Minnedosa Driving Range or Golf Club because it's always better on the golf course. Game one, games one and two will be brought to you by. Here's Jerry. Jerry, he puts it on net. Well, it wasn't quite on it. Coming up between periods, I will have Mr. Money in the Bank, the man with the deep pockets, the all-around great gentleman, Mr. Ed Dick. He is always a joy to talk to, and he really is. If you have a chance to talk with Ed, you'll learn a few things from him. The following program contains violence and coarse language. We couldn't be any happy. Apparently there's a circus in town. Oh, it's that same fan from the other game. Here's the dedicated fans of the Boys of Ain Border Kings, the very vocal bunch. The few that come and sit out here. Come on, guys. Let's pack this barn. You have a good team. Let's fill these stands next game. I read the comments. I laugh at them because they're true. We need more fans in the stands. Now that the pandemic is over, Zimmer moves it over. I mean, if, if Justin Trudeau's watching, I mean, uh, COVID is 100% real. Takes the shot, he scores! And you know what else is real? The 3 nothing lead the Border Kings have. A shot in the slot, and you know what? 2 nothing. the score is not. 3 nothing for the Border Kings. Don't miss my rap album coming up. Brought to you by Chapman Motors in Florida. Come on, Tanner, make it happen. <laughs> LeBlanc from Dittmer. And the vocal minority in Boys of Bain are ecstatic. Is it because the rain's too cold? Or... Do they just anticipate? It's good hockey. Come on, guys. Come on down to the Boys of Aiden Rink. Zimmer loses it. Well, he didn't want to lose it. Of course he didn't. Takes the shot, Bruyere. No scare. The netminder was there. 3 nothing for the Border Kings. 4.20 to go here in the first period. It's been a fast-paced first period. I was struggling to get here on time. I'm not going to do a Joe Namath impression because I really don't want to kiss you. Puts it up ahead. The Red Army still trying to get it past the Blue Bunch. Oh, a big moose delivers. He's down. He's hurt. But he'll be all right for points after the game. And he's a little bit delayed, but he's just enjoying his beverage. I'm going to assume that there is alcohol in it. Here they come. It's Jury. He shoots. And that was higher than my buddy Mitch on 420. You're watching Tiger Hills Hockey League action on TL Media. Brought to you by the Minnesota Golf Course. Um, Longman Apiaries. Mitch's Midnight Mechanics. And people like you. 
Sent down the ice. Pringle thought about playing it. Robertson took his man into the boards. Give him an extra shove and saying, hey, is the lake fro still frozen in Minnedosa? Yes, I'm, it likely is. Has fans discuss what they're going to do during the intermission? Where makes the best rink burger in the Tiger Hills? Oh, big hit there! Hellcrow flew into the boards! And we finally, we're bringing the intensity to you. That's what I like to see. Man, if you're not a fan of that, you probably voted for Trudeau. We do not mean to offend liberals watching. We love all of you equally. But Trudeau, seriously, down the ice it goes. We respect people's decision. But Trudeau... I, I better be careful or our licensing body will pull me from the air. Oh, wait. We're unlicensed. We're uncensored. If you need a license, go down and see the friendly folks at Andrew Agency. Elms takes a shot. Kicked aside there. 3 nothing for them. For the boys of Maine Border Kings. It looks like Minnedosa is still trying to get their sea legs here, and we're in the middle of Manitoba. Takes a shot. Big save there. Possible game changer. This has been the most intense hockey hitting action anyway. Maybe that's the game plan against the Border Kings. Lay, lay some body. Hit the people. It sure makes the broadcaster scores. Scores. Four nothing. Four nothing. And you know where you might need the L4? The Minnedosa Golf Course and Driving Range. That's who's bringing you game one of the Tiger Hill Hockey League Championship Series. Double J, Jeremy Johnson. Two nineteen to go. Um, it's quickly looking like no Lewis, no problem, but it is just game one. Minnedosa, they've been coming back from behind all year long. Round one against Cartwright. Down one. No. All right, it was the second round. McGregor was the first round. They got they dropped the opening game. The second game, or the second round rather, they got behind two nothing to Cartwright. As Dittmer brings it in. Look at how it's in the goal! That was a laser guessing for the top corner. And it's five zip for the team leading the ship. He knows it's five nothing, right? The most interactive broadcast in all of Manitoba. Whether you're talking to me on social media or you're being allowed drunk to my left. If you're sober, I mean, good on you. I, I want to know what you're having. If you can have that much fun sober, good on you. You you should bottle that and sell it at Chapman Motors in Killarney or the Minnedosa Golf Country Club. You know what? I'm giving Chapman Motors some free sponsorship. Come on, Chapmans, pipe it up. Uh, I'm done giving you some sponsors. I'll give you the rest of the playoffs. For a discount deal, contact TL Media Sales at Outlook.com if you're interested. TL underscore media underscore sales at Outlook.com and tell them Travis sent you. Five nothing. Here comes Jerry. Jerry, lose it over. And... 
We're 45 seconds away from the jury's going out for deliberation and not liking the verdict so far. No, but there's very some very inappropriate conversations to my left, folks. They're discussing stuff we should not talk about here on DL Media. We're a classier bunch than that. Evidently, the fans here aren't. The fans to my right, they're awesome. They're just watching a good hockey game. Down the ice it goes. And we're 10 seconds away from seeing the best Zamboni driver in all of Manitoba, Owen Armstrong. Owen, it's time for you, man. I'm going to go track down Mr. Ed. Tanner's going to go try to Patrick Lee with some words. We will be right back with Mr. Ed Dick. We'll go we'll go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you an answer that you endorse. We'll be right back. This is Travis Longman. Don't you dare. Hey everyone, this is the reigning defending Canadian women's curling back-to-back Scotty's champion, Carrie Anderson. More exciting Tiger Hills Hockey League action is coming up momentarily on TL Media.
Travis, you got no audio, bud. Join alongside Ed Dick. And Ed, I'm going to try to ask you this question again. Going to get your thoughts on the first period. That first period, absolutely. That came out buzzing like they should. And uh, they're all excited about this, uh, the finals here. And uh, boy, they they were ready to go. And uh, it's no secret. They've been waiting for this all year again. And uh, finally get to play the finals, which we haven't for a couple of years. And uh, Got, uh, had to quit there a couple of years again when we were going to play against Deepawa, and now we get to play against the rivals, Minidosa. Great guys, a bunch of good guys, great coaching. How excited are you to be able to play the championship and have Absolutely a... Absolutely ecstatic. Finally, it's about time, right? And uh, all the protocols are open. Don't have to wear a mask. I smiles. I just got to shut my mouth when the ref's out there, right? You know where you don't have to shut your mouth, Ed? <laughs> Chapman Motors. <laughs> Chapman Motors is awesome. Love those guys. Love Aubrey Chapman. I love the guy. My brother buys his vehicles from them, and I buy mine from Devil LeBlanc's brother. Just go straight to Burton to Mainline. That's where you get more more service and better service. You mentioned Devil LeBlanc's brother. You guys are going to be seeing them in a yeah, couple there's weeks. There's a little bit of chit chat going on there between Devo and Derek. Boy, I'll tell you, this is going to be fun. Brother against brother, and uh, hey. It's all going to be fun, and who cares? It is what it is, and the outcome is the outcome. And the idea when that series yeah, is going to be? That series is 100%. We're going to be in there um, April 4th, 8.30 in Burden at their arena, and then April 7th in the Brandon. We're going to be there at 7 o'clock on April the 7th, and uh, that's where the two games against Alcorn, and it's most goals for. So I rest my case. It's not about how many uh, wins you get, it's how many goals you get, right? And There's nothing wrong with going after seven, eight goals. We've been working for that all year, and uh, so that's what we're doing now. And, uh, hey, it's two games, most goals. I don't understand, but that's how it is. The immovable force against the unmovable object. Yep. Boys of Vane, Elkhorn. I'm looking forward to calling all that action. Well, I'll tell you right now, it's going to be great. I definitely want to give a good shout-out today my sister Joyce and uh, her husband Ed and Erica and Dave and, uh, man, the CH, hey, and all the people, the uh, coaches, Hectors and all those guys, but uh, hey, it's all good. And I shout out to everybody out there that's watching on TL Media tonight. And uh, thanks again, uh, Travis, for doing all this. I know they called you Trevor the other day. I wonder if we had a new guy in town, but this is Travis Longman. And I'll tell you, this guy has done everything for us and made it possible for all those people to watch out here. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the Board of Kings for everything you've done. You've done amazing. So, CH, it is. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to doing those games in Burden. You said on the April the April the fourth, eight thirty start time in Brandon. April seventh start time seven seven fifteen. It'll be on. It'll be up on the thing. Yeah, and then we find out who's going to play Warren, and we find out the winner of that to place the top top spot one game, uh, April 9th or tenth. And where's that going to be? I don't know yet. Depends who wins. Okay. All right. Good luck in the time period. Thanks a lot again. Okay, take care. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Boys of In Border Kings general manager, head coach, Mr. Money in the Bank. A lot of things to a lot of people. Mr. Eddick, Boys of In is up 5 nothing after the first period. And you're watching Tiger Hills Hockey League action on TL Media. Hey everyone, this is the reigning defending Canadian women's curling back-to-back Scottish champion, Carrie Anderson. More exciting Tiger Hills Hockey League action is coming up momentarily on TL Media.
Sorry, guys, we were just fixing up our audio issue, but Boys of Maine did make it six to nothing. We'll get you the official go call momentarily. That was a shorty. And it's quickly becoming a, a gong show. has it in his own end. Six nothing for the Border Kings now. Bruyere made it six nothing. And here's Zimmer in again, moves it over. If anyone caught what Ed said has for dates for the Manitoba Cup. Could you please write it down in the comments? I would be very much appreciative of that. I believe it is Monday, April the 4th, in Verdon, Boys of Ain against Elkhorn, game one. Then the next, then on the 7th. It will be Boys of Ain against Elkhorn at the Keystone West End Communication Group's place where the Wheat Kings play. And you know where you can catch all that action. TL Media. It's going to be a great time. Looking forward to going to the broadcast booth and where Brandon Crow calls the Leak King games. Maybe we'll let me share it. Let's do it up. I am unaware if Elkhorn has played in the last month and a half. If anyone knows that, please leave a comment. I've reached out to Garth, the head coach of Elkhorn, multiple times but haven't been able to get anything, any answers from them. TL Media and will be all over. And I mean all over the championship series. I need those dates as soon as I can get them so I can arrange for childcare so TL Media can be there. Battling along the side corner. Sherlink. Sure Six to nothing still for the Border Kings. Let's take a look at the uh, out of town scoreboard. Canada is taking on Czech, the Czech Republic at the Women's Curling Championships in Prince George. Carrie Anderson, friend of TL Media, was supposed was going to join for an interview tonight, but they have to play the Czech Republic. They've got more important things to do than to talk to me. Hopefully, we will. We're going to try to get her for next week, and hopefully, there she's wearing the World Championship gold. Speaking of World Championship gold, a bunch, probably a several people. 
are taking on the Westman Wildcats are taking on the Winnipeg The Winnipeg Winnipeggers. Wouldn't that be a good name for a team from Winnipeg? The Winnipeg Winnipeggers. The Western Wildcats are up one nothing. At least they scored uh, 22 seconds into the game. And just a uh, one minute ago, they are up two to one. 14:26 remaining in the third period. That is game one. McKenna Beard scored for the Wildcats. And Emma Ramsey got them on the board. The apple went to Haley Kowalski. There's still plenty of time, though. We will have updates as they become available. Moves it over. Intercepted LeBlanc. He scores. Touchdown, Border Kings. He shoots. LeBlanc really is looking forward to playing his brother. Boys of Ains up seven. LeBlanc is what the Border Kings are looking like the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Bombers. Well, it looked like bombers up until the last few years. Even a blind squirrel finds it out a few times. Moves it over. Guys, it's it's seven nothing. To borrow a line from John Torrell, shut your yap. Welcome back. It's Travis Longman with you. Don't call me Trevor. Oh, I don't care if you do. Mendoza has it. Jury, he's deliberating what to do. Moves it around to the other jury. And that meeting was adjourned. There's been some hard hits, and Johnson, a breakaway. It's a 2 on oh. Johnson, he's the winner. Great save. It's great to hear that people's hearing are working and that our audio is working. That is fantastic. He's hooked at center ice, but well, obviously. Liker moves it, loses it. Moves it through center ice. TL Media, you either love us or hate us. I'm good with either. But I love all of you. Moves it down low. Too slow. Giving up your Friday night to bring in this broadcast is 7 nothing for the Border King. So forgive me if I don't sound too enthused. It's like making chicken salad out of chicken droppings.
Should mention that Boys of Ain's minor hockey team recently won the provincial championship on home ice. Rumor is, as it has already tried to bring those players for future contracts. And the linesmen in the stands are happy with that one. Back it goes through center. TL Media is coming to Brandon. We are going to be broadcasting the second game, both games, but I'm excited for that. Brandon is essentially, I consider Brandon to be my hometown, one of my hometowns. I spent a lot of good years in, in Brandon, as well as Saskatoon and Lloyd Minster. Those were where I spent the best stretches of my life. I did an 18-year sentence in Mooseman the first 19 years of my life. Oh, big hit there! And I'm not going to lie, it was a sentence. Mooseman's not that bad of a place, though. I only had like a five year sentence. Seven nothing. Boys of Ain's going to the man at man disadvantage for four minutes. Don't tell the licensing body, Dan. I don't want us to pull us off the air. Oh wait, we're not licensed. I'm giving up my Friday night to bring this to you. I hope you're enjoying it. 7 nothing. I'm going to be honest. I was hoping for a better game. Moves it down. Minados is a good team. They're going to come battling back. Might as well save your legs for game two. I might save my voice. Stay out with my kids this week. Just kidding. Fisher. Down the ice. Big save, Pringle. That could be a game saver. Keeping it 7 nothing. You never know when that save's going to come in huge. Down the ice it goes. Just out of reach. But LeBlanc out to play it. Sends it back. Down the ice it goes. 
Nobody knows. Who really cares where it is? Let's be honest. It's seven nothing. This game, this series is not two game total point. The Elkhorn series is. But if that series, if any team gets up to nothing on that series, I'd be absolutely shocked. I would post Mitchell Selkirk's phone number if any team got up 7 nothing. And taking a look, Jason Bowles is one is the Alcorn leading scorer in four games. Am I reading that correctly? Four games. Jason Bowles had 17 points. Mind you, I'm going to be honest here. I have not heard much positive about the competition in the North Central Hockey League. Yeah. Could it be the No Chance Hockey League? There's always a chance. Minidosa even has a chance. They're a good team. I'm going to catch up to border to the Bombers general manager, Craig Cameron, if he wants to talk. He said he during the second intermission, if he's in a good mood. If any of my Verdon followers are around and would like to do commentary, join me when we're in Verdon. Shoot me a message. The Red Army come in. They lose it, though. I'm not going to say, and Al Michaels, do you believe in miracles when the red, white, and blue? If said white and blue are victorious, back the other way. Taken into the sideboards. Sent down the ice. Yada, yada, yada. Just killing more time. 6.50 to go here. In the second period. The broadcast brought to you by the Minnedosa Golf and Country Club. A fantastic place. Our scoreboard is foreshadowing what they're going to think happen. I'm going to, say, I'm going to bet we're not going to see any more Border King goals this period. And that was their best shot of the game. But it went feet over the net. Radio would be easier. You can make stuff up in the, and they'd be like, Oh, no disrespect to most people that work in radio. I did it. I got the 27 cents. Even know their players' names. You know where they definitely know the players' names? At the Shamrock Center in Killarney. And Chapman Motors, Mainline Motors. And the wonderful people at Mitch's Midnight Mechanics. And Vanderlei Industries. Halcrow takes a shot. He misses the net by about seven feet. Nothing's happening. Halcrow gets bumped. Not much is happening. Ho hum. Here comes Benedosa. Moves it over. They lose it. And someone obviously cannot read that in my left because it is no standing section. Boom goes it on right end of the board. Eight nothing, seven nothing. It's been a long week. Oh, we have a whistle. 
probably decided where it makes the best chicken wings in, Sask in Manitoba. Chicken Delight in Brandon is are my favorites. If you would like to work as a sales in the sales position for TL Media, that would be very much appreciated. Oh, here's the loud fan. Let's see if he's going to be loud. No, he's leaving. Probably had to empty his bladder. Alcohol is not expensive. It's not cheap. It's two Timbits on stacked on top of each other to two donuts. Eight nothing for the Border Kings. You're watching Tiger Hills Hockey League action on TL Media. Back the other way, here's Minnedosa. Minnedosa, it's not a series until you're down a game or two. It's not over yet. Johnson has it in the middle, takes the shot. Big save there. During the second intermission, I am going to try to catch up with Craig Cameron if he would like to talk. I mean, he might not. 3.16 to go here. What? In the second period, 9.20 the time is. And this game's essentially been over since 8.20. Our producer asked me the other day, How, what can we do to get our viewers viewership up I think Elkhorn will be tremendous. game two in this series I think it's going to be good tell your friends it's a six o'clock start on Sunday I don't think it'll be eight nothing Minnedos is not going to take this one line down they're they're a proud bunch they're a good group in Minnedosa and also, tune in to the broadcast. Our coverage will start at about 20 after 5 on, fr on Sunday. I recently spoke with Edmonton Oilers legend, inaugural captain, and Minnedosa's own Ron Chipperfield. We talked for about 35 minutes the other, other day. And he's just a fantastic person. So, the Travis Longman Show Season 1. Ron Chipperfield is our guest. Sunday, 520, on all TL Media platforms. 8 nothing now with 90 seconds to go here in the second period. Elms... Back to Sherlink. Battling for it. Takes a shot. And Elms. It's a nightmare on Elm Street every time he has the puck. This is... This could possibly be the second last game of the season in the Boys of Ain Arena. Elms, he, he uh, I don't think he's taking pizza order by any means. Although, the best pizza in, my favorite pizza in on Boys of Aid. Period, 
And we will check the Twitter machine to make sure that that score is still accurate. We will have an out-of-town scoreboard coming up during the third period because... Because why not? I'm Travis Longman. I'm in charge of TL Media. But I love all of you guys for tuning in. 8 nothing for the Border Kings, and we still have 38 people watching. Probably well over that. But who, who knows? Out-of-town scoreboard. I am... It is the Tribal Chief of Travis and leading Jack Moon in my fantasy hockey draft. 165 to 122. I am guaranteeing that I will go to the championship in that series and beat the team that I, I am responsible for their only loss. Who will be the team responsible for Boys of Ain's loss? Or the unstoppable force against the immovable object? Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Off the, off the crossbar. And you know what? We're going to get cameras. We're going to get cameras set right up over there. We're going to have more cameras on game two. So you can see it. And we'd like to remind you that TL Media is always free to watch. Big cross jack. And we could have a melee. I'm not talking about Travis either. Larson. Leash. He's losing his mind. It's 8 nothing with 7 seconds to go in the second period. Robertson's being sent off. Out comes Croker to open it. And he gracefully goes up. Across the ice, he made it safely, folks. It looked a little scary at times. Here's the intensity. I hear they're saying, You ugly and hate filled men, and a bunch of people are saying, Hey, I may be ugly and hate filled, but what was the third thing you said? No, no, go refill your beverages. Least. Patrick Least is one of the nicest people you could meet off the ice. But you don't want to mess with him on the ice. Seven seconds to go here in the second period. And coming up during the second intermission, it'll either be a bunch of blank screens or we're going to catch up with Craig Cameron, the man with the movie star name, Craig Cameron. I am also going to send a text out to Garth Mitchell to see if he wants to join the coverage for third period. Well, Travis, I may be ugly and hate-filled, but what was the third thing you said? <laughs> Cla classic, man. Ugh. So, Mitch, did you hear those dates? That the that Ed said you had mentioned you had mentioned is there a chance you'd be able to make those dates? Well, I'll have to check the schedule. Or as my high school principal used to say, schedule. That drives me absolutely bonkers. It's schedule. Not schedule. Schedule. Oh, it's I awful. Mean, Brett, funny you should ask. 
there's a great deal at Mainline Motors in Verdon. And Tanner, I think you can hook them up. Susan, would you like to pay for my mileage? I, I would love to be in car if it looks like a whale of a series. It's, it's my ex-girlfriend of series, a whale. Except this one's not beach. <laughs> oh, we'd like to send an apology to Shamu if we offended it. Sorry, the pronouns I am using are she. Moves it over. Elkro shoots. Oh, man. Oh, doctor. That's the end of that chapter. And you know what? We're going to take the full 20. We're going to take the break. Go refill your beverages. Go check out and see what, Hatman, what Chapman's has. Chapman Motors in ah uh, no, it's not important Killarney Manitoba and the fans are getting vocal here the six people that came out anyway I'm gonna shut my mouth for about 15 see you later Hey, this is one of the original voices of Monday Night Raw and one of the top ten worst wrestling commentators of all time, Rob Bartlett. You're watching the Tiger Hills Hockey League on TL Media, which means you're a loser sitting in your mom's basement by yourself. The next period will begin shortly. Jesus. Hey, this is Ken Miller, former coach of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. You're watching the men of Tiger Hills Hockey League on TL Media. The next period begins shortly.
<laughs> Welcome back to Tiger Hills Hockey League Action One TLB. I'm Travis Longman. All right. Here come the boys of Ain Border Kings looking to close out their 8 0 lead. It's all business coming out to the ice for the third period. We love moms out there. Of course, you can stay out of your mom. If you can, if you can hear me, please leave a comment. We can hear you, buddy. Awesome. We're going to try this out. We're going to, I'm going to go back to the main camera now. So we might be a few seconds. But puck is dropped here in Boys of Ain for the third period. It is eight to nothing. Not much of a game. Minnedosa's left all their sea legs and Minnedosa hasn't been very entertaining at all. So hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed it though. Hi. Down through center it goes. If you have access to an old camera, an old cell phone, that you would allow TL Media to use, we would be very happy to, to use it. You will get back. Ah, uh, there's some great kids at the arena tonight. They're asked them to help out. Uh, just fantastic. The parents should be real proud of them. 
there's there's some nice kids in the community in, in Boys of Amen. Very, the kids have been very welcoming. Takes the sh well, maybe thought about taking something. Sorry about that, folks. We are working on a few new things, and this is uh, seems like a good time as any to try to hammer out a few kinks. 
So please be patient with us. As every day we strive to be better. If we can add a little bit, maybe a different view, a different angle to give people more in-depth insight and a better view we got to go for it and working on doing our best it is still eight nothing for boys of aim Boys of Ain is short handed. Sawchuck. I'm going to see if I am, if uh, the old broadcaster curse. You can blame me if it's broken. But right now, Jay Pringle has a shutout with 8 0. And let's be honest here. Minnedosa hasn't really generated much in the terms of offense. Maybe one or two quality scoring chances. Game three. Game two is on Sunday at 6 o'clock. Join us at 520 for a special edition of the Travis Longman Show. I spoke with the first captain in Edmonton Oilers history. Ron... LeBlanc has it. Oh, now. I think we need to get rid of some people in the message board. We are um, not interested in that. We're a family show. So, goodbye. Our next broadcast, I'm planning on putting the camera down in, so if you have an old camera that you would let us use, that would be fantastic. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to get rid of that stuff. It is not that kind of broadcast, folks. Not even at Chapman Motors in Killarney.
Eleven twenty to go here in the third period. Eight nothing for the Border Kings. Well, that's one thing I don't know nothing about, Tanner. I uh, we need some people media models. John Ford, well, you know what? He scores a seven nothing, nine nothing. It was an odd number, to a round number. Johnson from Zemer. Betty must go home after each game. Um, Rosin up her throat every time because and try to get the words Zena and Zimmer or Riley Zimmer out of her engraved from her throat. Those guys are electric every time they're out there. And Mo, hey, Travis, I know you're watching this in Fox Warren, Manitoba at the Kent Hotel. And you must be a, such a proud grandpa of uh, both of your grandkids. We got some rough stuff. Got some tough stuff. But the zebras are in harm's way. Better call PETA. Nine to nothing in favor of Boys of Ain. And this is not a two game total point series. One game at a time. And it didn't cost you a dime. Nine nothing. Minnesota will play Warren in one half of the Manitoba Cup, and it will be the Boys of Maine Border Kings against the Minnesota Elkhorn Seahawks, the unstoppable force against the immovable object. Heavyweight battle: Tyson Hollyfield, Tyson Lewis, Muhammad Ali. Joe Frazier. That one should be a slobber knocker. And I'm gonna send, I'm gonna offer this. If someone in Minnesota or around the area would sponsor TL Media. I would love to broadcast the Bombers Warren that series. I would love to do all the broadcasts. Here they come back the other way. They lose it. The fans here are not very educated. I question the schools. How's it going? A little busy. Can I talk to you?
I use this term loosely. One of Boys of Ain's finest just came up and talked to me. He was quickly turned away. And we'll be right back. Probably an age book lining up optometry or because it was very obvious that I was busy doing something, but they still came and bothered me. Real classy, real classy. We'll get a bunch I'm looking forward to the trip to Minnedosa where there's always good people that are knowledgeable hockey fans and just all around great people. Not saying that's not the case for boys of Aiden. No, don't don't at me, bro. In fact, there's just a few that give people a bad name. You're up 9 nothing, and you're making an idiot of yourself. In front, LeBlanc hits a leg. And now, here they come. Takes a shot, big save by Pringle, but he loses it. And a big save there by Pringle, one of his few tests, but he passed with flying colors. And we'll take a break, we'll be right back. He's pretty quiet now. Ah, they seem nice enough just to maybe a little under the influence. He shoots. Big save. Folks, I'm going to be honest here because that's what I do. Best in the West. I mean, anyone on Twitter can read derogatory comments about their feelings towards a certain person. I personally have not had any negative interactions with that person. And I respect that man to everything. And he's a genuine good person. I do understand the frustrations other teams go through, and but the rules are the same for every team. I'm in fan. I play fantasy sports. I don't pretend to know how to manage real sports, but I have whiners in my fantasy baseball draft that want that complain how I do business. Sorry, I like to win. I don't cheat. I play within the rules. I like to win. And I'm very good at winning. Okay, I got one more spam message. I'm ending the broadcast early. I got to believe Tanner Anderson has something to do with this. Tanner's a good dude. Hey, Trey, don't worry about it.
5.35 to go here. Our, our next broadcast will be on Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The Minnedosa Bombers take on the Boys of Ain Border Kings in Game 2 of the Tiger Hills Hockey League Champion. Okay, that horse has been beaten enough. 10 nothing. If you had 10 nothing for game one, well, probably a lot of people. Minnedosa, we love you. You have a good team. Your team battles back. You, your team's going to battle back. It's not over. It's one game against. <laughs> oh. 4.52 to go here, and you might as well go and start the bus. Sawchuck makes it 11 to nothing. And it's like a soccer video game here, folks. It's a winning 11. Which was one of my buddy's favorite sports games. I should mention that I dedicate every broadcast to one of my best friends who passed away just before the season started. If he was still around, he'd be so proud of all the work I'm doing and that I've never gave up on my broadcast stream. James, you've been gone since October, but we love you and we miss you every day, buddy. You're a quality individual. You are a champion, my friend. And now to play it goes. And our camera crew is slipping down there. <laughs> Kids, I, I can't wait for one day for Levi to be able to come and do the... Right now, he probably could. Ollie, Bowen, oh, will probably just try to throw it down the stairs. He's, uh, he's a wild child. Ollie would probably just try to eat it. 11 nothing for the Border Kings. And I'm still waiting to hear who makes the best burger in the Tiger Hills Hockey League. Or are rink burgers not popular here in Manitoba? I'm I'm a proud Saskatchewanian. I can count to twelve though and stop. And I am guaranteeing right now. Right now. Put it on record. Play it back for the end of August. Eleven nothing as a score. I am going to say, declare, Winnipeg will finish third in the CFL West. Saskatchewan will win the Grey Cup. I'll bet you a hundred dollars. I'll bet you what I'm. Not an official bet. Although the Riders are going to win the Grey Cup. Mark my words. Mark my words. As sure as I am, the Tappans is the best place to get a car in Killarney. Wait, I'm not very sure then. Just kidding. We do not need any undergarments to be ruffled. Got to have some sort of fun. It's 11 nothing. 11 nothing in the championship series.
Yeah, the home hotel's really calling. They want they want to go and do their Friday night adult beverage consuming, or whatever they do for fun here in Boise. I mean, maybe there's a cattle ball or a rodeo. Maybe there's a big <laughs> box social. <laughs> maybe there's a big box social around Tommy Turtle. I don't know. <laughs> We ought to get a big Boys of Ain Borkings jersey for Tommy Turtle. Come on, Ed, get on that stuff. Let's put Tommy Turtle in a Border Kings hat. I I hardly see any Border Kings pride, and they're... It's almost sad to see the fan support. We need to be better. I, I get it. Tonight's game isn't close, but Minnedos is a good team. The trophy could be in the arena on Wednesday. Let's get some fans out. Let's pack the bleachers. Let's have people sit on these uncomfortable tiles. I want to be pushing for a spot. I want to say, excuse me, let's let's get some fans out. Bring some proceeds. Let's support the Border Kings. Support minor hockey. I want to see a full house in Minnedosa. I want to see everybody have as much passion as the people to my left. We need vocal fans. We need people from Saskatchewan. Even if they're losing a hundred to nothing, you're always going to get people. Not a knock on Manitoba by any means. I love it here. I love the people here. I think it's Winnipeg. I am very much a Saskatchewan person. And I like the sign of the Simpsons. We're from Winnipeg. We were born here. What's your excuse? Having said that, it's it's all in good fun. Rivalries. It's great. The best rivalry in this league is Boys of Ain Killarney. Um, it's fantastic. We have a lot of Killarney people, including Tanner, the mouth of the mouth of the South. But it's absolutely a joy to interact with him because you never know what he's gonna say. Anyway, eleven nothing. Help me out here, guys. Who should Trav's Titan be for Minnedosa? Because honestly, I want to give it to the bus driver. 12 nothing. I think you can put this one to bed. I'd have to say it went to bed when my kids went to bed, which is just before the broadcast started. Minnedosa. Pack, let's pack the bus. I'm coming on Sunday. Six o'clock. Let's have a full house. Let's get the 50 50 more than a $12. Next, next weekend, Wednesday. Boys of Ann. Let's get this barn packed. Let's rock it. Let's rock the roof off the old arena. Saw Chuck. He's probably saying something that rhymes with his last name. And mercilessly, we've struck zeros. And it's proof. Broadcasters can say the word shutout and not curse them. Jay Pringle gets a shutout. Shut out, shut out, shut out, shut out. 
12 nothing. It was close for not very long. Boys of Ain, they flexed their muscle. They took this one to the bank. Travs tighten tonight for the Menadosa Bombers. Honorable mention to the bus driver. Number five. He has a very shiny blue helmet. You gotta give kudos to anyone for showing up for the Minnedosa Bombers. And they brought it. Trav's Titan. We're gonna go with the Gladstone Killer. Number 91. Unit 91, come in 91. Shane Jury. Honorable mention. Jury is number 41. Matt Sailor is number 91. Both of those guys will need to be better on Sunday. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Traps fighting for the boys of Ain Border Kings. Thanks, guys. I could go with my camera people. I could go with the great fans, like the one still here to my left. I don't know if he's waiting to beat me up for after the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like to joke around. So I'm going to give give this one to the first person that I put my finger on. We will go to Joyce Agnew. Joyce, you're Trav's Titan tonight. Tanner, Tanner Anderson, you're Trav's Titan tonight. You're all Trav's Titan, but in all seriousness, Trav's Titan. We're going to go with Double Z. The Z-Man. Zenon Zemer. Zenon Zemer. It's Trav's Titan of the night. For Travis Longman, Mitch Selkirk in Saskatoon, the passionate fan to my left, the quiet passionate fan to my right, the invisible man, my wife for allowing me to do this broadcast, for Owen being quite speedy on the Zamboni, for everyone else, keep your stick on the ice, and we'll see you Wednesday. No, we'll see you Sunday. Let's pack the barn. There's only a few games left in these small town arenas. Let's pack it. Make like a farm animal. Alpaca. I'm going to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Peace. Peace out, Travis. Where's your mother home? Slice.